Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio doing a profile at a restaurant because, you know, where else would we do it, right? Got plenty of good food. These guys were half an hour after us, but there we go. So my man Broad's here representing the team, doing good. Look at these little goons in the background trying to get in. <laughs> here we go. Uh, so where did you finish? You did quite well, right? I got second place. Second place, not bad. And what was your record? Uh, X1, I lost to the guy who won uh, Gabe Nets. Yeah, who won the tournament, yeah, so... I think it's Nets. I, I'm probably getting it wrong. Love the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's good, he's good, he's good. Uh, and what did you play? Uh, I played uh, Going Second Sword Song. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, so shall we get stuck into the list? Yeah, go for it. So I'm just going to move stuff to the side. It's... Like I say, you'll have to, apolog uh, yeah. to apologise a little bit about the noise in the background because we yeah. are in a restaurant, but I think it's relatively quiet, so yeah, it's fair, it's fair. go ahead, my man, whenever you're ready. Uh, it's very straightforward if you paid any attention to second lists, I think are the superior lists, so we'll start off quite simple with uh, the you know, Free Ecclesia. Yep. Uh, well, even better going second because you get the summon and everything, uh, turn yourself into any sword soul, usually this is Moyi, sometimes Taie, um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, it doesn't really come with the fusion effect for recursion, but it's still amazing as is. Yep. Uh, the following up, uh, free long one. Uh, nothing really to say about this. You need to play three enemies, really good. And yeah, it just makes you tens and the 1200 burn comes up sometimes and it makes you feel very confident going into game three um, in time or anything like that. Very yep. good. I'm playing two tire. This used to be free until uh, just today. Um, it's a really good card. I love it, but the problem is. Um, it really just sucks when you just like, you know, I don't know, for some reason you're forced to go first or second and this is like your only card, you just can't, this can't play by himself down one, yep. um, but he's, he's, he's like the best follow-up one in the world and of course, this guy comboing with like uh, Bashir and then milling uh, what I actually want to play and playing off of that, this guy's really good follow-up. Yep. And of course 1800 it comes up a little bit. Uh, then we have Mo Yi. this is like the best star, assuming you have cards something else Cards insane! Come yep, very good, unless you draw cards uh, and then just kind of play, uh, sort of something you want to play. One of the best stars ever. Yeah. And then, not very much to say about it. It sucks if you draw it and you don't have anything to like reveal on that. It's amazing. Uh, now we're moving into the Tenny engine. This is uh, Tenny's uh, going second sword soul. So this we play lots of Tenny card. This is the best one, obviously. Yeah. Marshuna. You know, just all Tenny's had the effect where they just summon themselves if you control no effect monsters. So that could be like an empty board or if you control like a token. And yeah, just like this one summons another one. That's really good. Uh, yeah, not much more to say about it. Really good card. Great with combos. And then we play free Vis Shooter. This card's really good. It didn't really do a great deal of work today, but the theory is amazing and previously it's been fantastic. Literally just like, uh, I don't know, you just summon it, make a monk and bounce a card. Like, well, it's just, it, it's much more better as a disruption than you think, but it's really good as well. And of course, seven, of course, it adds up, it's really good. Yep. And then we play uh, two Ash, uh, Ahara, this one. Um, this one's really good, you know, just simple easy recursion, level one tuner, pretty good. Uh, it's good summoning a tuner off of Asuna, I'll ask you to discard it for like long one, you can do like Yazi plays, it's very good. Um, you don't, this is the one you kind of want to see in your hand the least, but it's essential because uh, we do play Desires in the next play two of it. Yep. Uh, and then move on to spells. Uh, we play free emergence, consistency, play it really good, search worm, not much to say, simple as. Uh, we play desires, I used to play um, prosperity, the other pot card. Yep. Uh, I was, oh, I thought it was pretty good, but then it kind of changed this and I played this again, this card is really good, I think like, it's, I think it's the best one to play right now, the two. Just draw two is so strong, and of course, among other things, it's like ash bait, and sometimes yeah. like, even as that, Vanishing Pen is completely fair because then you can do other stuff with your other plays and secure your plays. This card's really good. Yep. And of course, it can dig you out the grave. Problem is, um, and this will happen, this will happen, and you'll remember this every time. You will play one Desires and draw another Desires off it, and you'll think this card sucks. Guaranteed. Um, every time, you'll hate you'll hate life. But it's a risk we take because, you know, the draw of two guys is very good. Yep. And now we're going into the Heart and Soul, we're going second Sword Soul deck, which is uh, the Board Wipes or yep. the Lark cards. Um, really good card on today. Um, the standard, I don't, I don't really want to add much more to it. It did what it needed to do on the 10. Sometimes it came out, sometimes I want another one, but yeah, no, just four wipe card. Yeah, uh, this card, I didn't really like this card that much today. I think um, I'm gonna bring a change up for Chalice uh, because realistically, you're only really negating one card, anyways. The only real benefit is, of course, you can do multiple negates and you can, you know, block them from responding. It's good in theory, but I know today was kind of like last time. I want to try with Chalice only and so I feel. 
this card, eh, it, might, it, it might not see a future play. Yeah. And then we have this card, uh, it's this format we know we play against all those combo decks which like to go first. And when you te when, when you build a deck for second, you kind of chuckle to just snicker to yourself a little. And yeah. Kind of yeah. Like a dark voice, and then uh, you draw this kind of. Ah, 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 ah. That's the one, that's the one. Of course, you know, of course, the big name that everyone knows about, it, you can't kill them to hate. If you wipe their board, then make up a good board to three mana. Yeah, exactly. Great card. And you can play multiple of it in turns. So. You play your turn one on turn three, basically. Exactly. Into traps, we have evenly match. Uh, this card's amazing. Uh, of course, sometimes you know you don't really want to burn your power phase, or you only open this and you have like one negate that kind of sucks. But yeah, this card's really good. Um, was really good all day. No, nothing bad to say about this card. I love playing this again. Yep. And then we're playing the, the one blackout. Uh, you know, you search it or you vanish. Card strong. You vanish it. Uh, this card in grave with something to tie into it is pretty good because you'll get a token no matter what. It's good. Sometimes you wish you had the second, but ultimately a one is fine. It's really good. Yep. And then today, we, we, the last minute change was the triple impermanence. Um, this card saved my ass against the, the AI like two times in one day. Yeah. It's, it's really good. It's, I think it's like, I wasn't so sure about it, but now after the day, I'm it's like, it's, it's the correct thing to do. Yes. Especially with like, um, just negating like the tribe gear card or whatever you need to. You know, you're not going to trigger uh, tactics in this card. So that's you know. it, yeah. So yeah, it's worth it. I think it's worth playing. Uh, I, I get to have a bad thing to say about this card. So that's the main 40, yep. 41 cards. Um, very good. I think the next uh, one is the yeah, extra. Nice and tight. What's that? Nice and tight. Yeah. 41's good. Yeah, it's good. good. Yeah, so, so fun, just some funky tokens and then kill the bird. Standard. Uh, so yeah, the extra deck is quite, uh, it's kind of, quite sta mm, kind of standard, kind of not. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, two monk. Uh, I disagree. I think anyone who plays free is an idiot. Um, or is just, is just learning the deck. I've seen some people play free and I think you just, you never need the third one. The game never gets to that point. Two is necessary. Two is fine, and you have space to play actual cards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just don't play free unless, like, you basically like tell me you are not confident playing the deck without telling me. That's when you play that. <laughs> someone, that's, you see, someone's got three. You know, it's a free I just, win. I, I just disagree. You're never going to need it. And it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's just, fine. Just, just play like good. Anyways. Um, yeah. And we have Shaman. This card, I don't think I use more than maybe once. Um, but at the same time, it's necessary because any two worm monsters can revive one from grave, or just uh, and, and very occasionally you can you do use the pop effect when you want to stick with a monk. It's all right. It's decent. I I, I can't ever see myself cutting it. It's decent, but yeah, not me much more to say about it. Then we have uh, the synchros. So to, uh, was it Shi Zhao? This one. Uh, yeah. You know, the the level eight uh, sword sword card. Great. Nothing more to say about it. Good card. Uh, moving on. Um, Drago Berserker, this card didn't, didn't really come up that much, but it's really good. And it's better than think, most people think, just banishing the monster. I know you, you uh, get rid of Nib, Nib or something, or DP, which took happen once or twice. It's very good. And of course, it keeps the attack points when it rams over stuff. So, And of course, it's, it's, uh, it's the only one you can activate under Shaman if you summon it from the extra. So, really good. Yep. Uh, not much more to say about that. Uh, Blade Up, uh, didn't summon it once, but theory is you, you summon the mirror match, you swing over a guy, and then it, they're turned off for a turn. Um, yeah, it's not much more. It's okay. Um, we'll see. It's probably going to stay because we'll have more space to zoom. Yeah. Uh, uh, what was it? Cheng Ying, that's the one. Yeah, very good card, amazing. Not much more to say about it. I mean, yeah. like, literally almost single handedly wins the old deck matchup. They have to, like, negate it or open some weird card. Amazing card. So much value. And, and massive, of course. Baron, good card. Sometimes a bit too fair, sometimes. But nah, simple. Hey, 10 negate, reborn stuff. Uh, as a effect which pops a card which it has no business having. Uh, good card. Yep. Uh, Bashir. Uh, this card's amazing, especially with Kaye, you know, you mill uh, Mo Yi, spin, uh, sp and then spin two, and then reborn the Mo Yi, do stuff. That's amazing. Uh, yep. this is another reason why going second is a lot better than going first, because this card actually functions correctly, rather than just being a way to, get, to make Xiao Feng. Yeah. Um, yeah, good card, not much more to say. You can do some really nutty combos with this card. Yeah, I see this card. Uh, some people might struggle think, okay, when is the best time to use this? It's usually like if you open uh, Ash, was it Ashuna? And long, uh, long one, and you just make it, and just kind of combo from there, and mix and mate. This card's a lot better than you think. Um, but I didn't use it today; I, it just didn't really come up. But I would never take this out. Uh, Xiao Feng, I didn't summon this once. I have not summoned this at all ever. And in all the events I've used it, like I don't think it's worth cutting because like the, the lock is too good. It's just like when you play Dry Trend, you summon it, and as soon as they have an out, you just win the game pretty much. It's just a bit um, niche at the moment, sort of. Yeah, thing. it's special weapons. It's very rarely, but I, I can't see myself cutting it. And then the cards which we felt we wanted to play today, which didn't come up with these three, this is just anti dogma package. Yeah. And they're probably just going to become Synchro Monsters. One's going to become a Bashir, one's going to become a Dragite, and one's going to become uh, something else, I don't know. Yep. It's probably Ready Rose Dragon or something. Like, I don't know, I just went in today thinking Dogma might be a thing, and it didn't come up, so I think, yeah, it's unnecessary. It's free space, it's probably not R Ruddy's kind of nice, I think that's a good choice. Like, Ruddy's real good. Yeah, Ruddy, Ruddy, like, I've been, I've been told Ruddy is amazing. It's, it's alright, it's, it's like special weapons, it comes up every so often. Yeah, yeah, that's it.
Uh, into the side deck, so today we play this. Arc Nemesis, everyone knows about this card, it's yeah. amazing. Uh, just to, like, you know, you, just, you search it out with the Soul Soul spell, and then you just kind of summon it, and then you can automatically call Dark, because Dark and won't kill itself because it comes from my card effects. Yeah. Uh, other than that, it just locks, it, uh, locks out of an attribute, so theoretically you can call most attributes for this, as long as you get the other one on the field. Uh, but the problem is it's like uh, getting to that sometimes. But yeah, very good card when it's on the field and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but Ash on the side. Uh, if you don't know you're going first or second, or you just like you have the traps in hand just in case. Um, this card was really good. Um, not really much bad to say about it, it's just Ash, it's, it's like you throw it it's in. generic hand trap. Pretty much, not much more to say. It was decent today. I think I would keep it in, I might change it, who knows. Uh, Droll, Droll is amazing this format. Uh, play this card, enough said. Um, I've been considering maybe in the main, but I, nah, I think the side is probably the best place to do. Yeah. Uh, Chalice is going to go in the main soon. This card was pretty good all day. You know, the one won the gate. 400 almost came up, but almost didn't. It was fine. Decent card. Uh, it's better than drop this at the moment, I think. Uh, we'll find out more. Uh, Anti spell. This card is a uh, pretty good sign fold. I mean, it's um, pseudo IO, right? Yeah, pretty much. If like, if you can successfully fake out your opponent and then just kind of like flip, flip this up, and then usually you win most games because like the extra turn they need is like uh, too much. Yeah. This is, yeah. Anti spell. Why, why am I thought? Uh, Red reboot. Okay. But this is uh, a new addition because um, we were getting a bit uh, fearful of what was it? It was feather storm and dimensional barrier. Yeah. Didn't come up once. And of course, against back row decks like Outlick, it really helps because like you can just kind of like wipe them pretty easy. Um, I don't think I would take this out, I think this is fine. And then finally, the card everyone hates and wants fan beat, everyone plays it in real order. <laughs> You've got to play it. Exactly. You, you open it, you win, because it's, it, it doesn't really behave like a normal card, it's, it's, it's retardedly good. Yeah. Um, yeah, just play it, it's pretty good. It's the fourth anti spell, but the good anti spell. And you open it, there you go, you probably win the game. Cool. Right, well, uh, any comments on what you might change? What you, I mean, obviously, you mentioned Droplet. It was to the just, side, maybe. Just or... drop the chalice and a few cards on the side. We're thinking of a few options and, of course, you know, the, the extra deck stuff. On that, it was a good event, it was a good day, I had a good time. Um, I, play, I think I played relatively well. Um, yeah, I was... Well, well enough to only lose to the guy who won the tournament, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's a good score. Um, yeah, it was a great event. Uh, thank you, Dice and Destiny, for their call. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Went to, their, went to an event of theirs a few months ago playing AI, where it was in combined with like the convention. Very good hosts, uh, lovely, all lovely people, and it was a very well held, held event. Yeah, yeah. Thing I could say, if it was in any way possible, better chairs and tables, and that, fairly fine. Yeah, yeah. Event. I think the venue itself wasn't even too bad, to be fair. It was just like... No, no. Oh, yeah, and of course, it was slightly confusing to find a way to park, but that's the same with every venue. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it is what it is. And I, and I look forward to coming down again. Canterbury is quite a nice place. Yeah, yeah, man. Okay, well, well done on the top. Obviously representing the team, Jam Jam Cards UK. I'll get, I'll get, I'll get like a nice shirt soon. But one day, one day we'll give him a shirt. <laughs> one day. <laughs> You'll see, I'll be flexing it. That's it. Uh, speaking of Jam Jam Cards UK, if you do want to pick up any singles, Link in the description, use code RUFIO15 uh, for 15% uh, uh, off. That's bye. the one. Bye. Support the team. Let let this man get higher rarity cards. That's what we need, right? That's, that's what we need. We what need some we ulties need. here, right? Exactly. You're funding me, bro. <laughs> that's it. Funding those tops. Well, thank you very much. your power. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Well done on the top. Uh, if you guys haven't already, definitely hit subscribe. See you in the next one. Take care.